YouTube, what's the deal? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. Breaking news, breaking news. So look, Keefe D was arrested. I'm not gonna say for the murder of Tupac Sh Secure, but in connection with uh the Pac murder. So we're gonna get into this um clip from the news real quick, and then we're gonna get into quite possibly what got his ass locked up 20 some odd years later but let's get into this clip breaking news out of las vegas a law enforcement official is telling nbc news that all these years later police have arrested a suspect She's in the surprised. 1996 murder of rapper the tupac fuck? shakur nbc's dana griffin joins us now from los angeles what can you tell Hold on, the white lady said, all this time, like, damn, I thought y'all forgot about that shit, how she said it. Golly, she said, damn, y'all was still looking for somebody? Dana. Chris, 60-year-old Dwayne Keithy D. Davis has been arrested. He was arrested this morning in Las Vegas in connection to the murder of Tupac Shakur. Officials say that this comes just two months after Las Vegas police raided his wife's home in July. Documents provided by police say that they found several items, including computers, uh, laptops, tablets, external hard drives, audio recordings, and other electronic storage media. Now, Davis, who is 60 years old, is a, a self-described gangster who is also the uncle of one of, of the suspected shooter in this case, Orlando Anderson. He Orlando. was named earlier in this case as a suspect. He later died in a gang-related shooting here in Los Angeles. Now, Davis, Yikes. in his book, Compton Street Legend, he wrote about breaking his silence over Tupac's killing in 2010 during a closed door meeting with investigators he said that he inked out some sort of deal with lapd to give information so that he could avoid prosecution but it's looking like chris that his his book and some of the interviews that he has done he told may himself. be what caused la Dumbass or las nigga. vegas police to open up this investigation uh, have a search warrant and bring forth these charges there's going to be a press conference in about an hour we hope to learn more about the arrest and those charges chris dana okay so we gonna stop it there y'all got the breakdown of what what's up you feel me they found laptops external hard drives all kind of shit um i don't know what they could find on there because if you ha if you've got something incriminating you in pox murder on some fucking external hard drives shame on you and for the record let me say I, i'm i'm from the land y'all see what's going on i wear this like a crown i'm from the land Shame on any nigga who got anything to do with Pox murder. I'm going to just say that for the record. Shame on you. You know what I'm saying? Lock them niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Whoever in connection, cahoots, or uh, whatever else. You feel me? But um, we about to get to this clip because uh, ultimately I feel like Keefe D got himself locked up. You see here, Wiley, she's saying, oh, just, all this time later? Like, yeah, hell yeah. All this time later, big doofy head. You know what I'm saying? Wanna wanna run his mouth, wanna write a tell all book about the murder of arguably Los Angeles most legendary artist. Literally artist, not rapper, nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. And then, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get into just one of the pieces because it don't even matter. The nigga just told all on itself everywhere. However, it don't matter. You feel me? So and then if you see this when we when we scroll, zoom in real quick, boom. You see, that's Keefe D. That's four years ago. Champion did this, what we about to click on. Then then the one above it is four months ago, right? I'm not going to say nothing about Vlad because everybody want to culture vulture Vlad and this, that, and the other. Hey, yo, I'm going to ask questions. If you answer the questions, that's on you. I know mad people who go to interviews and don't ask questions. Half is incriminating. So at this point, it ain't on Vlad. It's, it's, it's not on Vlad no more. It's y'all. Straight up. It's y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This nigga just running his motherfucking gap tooth mouth, goddamn. Lame ass nigga. Fuck you wanna be telling all about Pox murder anyway, face ass. All right, here we go. I think we have Man, one of the most shit. controversial figures in hip hop right now. Keefe D is in the building. How's everything? I'm all right. And how's I'm controversial? You're pretty controversial. Uh. You're pretty controversial. But let's go ahead and get into your whole story. Keefe D. C. Mac Daddy. 
Golly. God. How is Keithy D C Mac Daddy? So you grow up. You grew up in Compton. Yes. And you know these days people have a certain perception of Compton being kind of a violent area, a gang Let's just area. Get to but the when you grew up there, it was totally different. Okay, so you were, what, about 13, 14 years old? About, about, about 12. Okay. And that was cocaine? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, but I, I can't want to, I stayed away from that type of shit. That, that keep, uh, I, I, oh, so you were just selling the kilos wholesale? Yeah, selling the keys, yeah, the way they were. Okay, because I Shooting them out of town. That was just faster. To just different. Get... I mean, that's the and, reason. No, you're, no. You're starting to go interstate. Yeah. They tied in. Okay. And I was like the running back. <laughs> Houses. You know, I like, damn, we had like eight balconies on the uh, joint. Okay. It was Death Row a thing back then? Yeah, Death Row. They was, uh, they had, uh, they was doing a video shoot up there called yeah, the 69 Girls. Fucking okay. Bro guy. He had a reputation for this. Come on, Vlad. For, you don't uh, time stamp your shit, champion? He like, hell no. I don't want shit. you using my shit. No, he was a good, good person. Very good player. Glad a ill nigga, crazy. man. He's really a kid. In more ways than one. Like hey, I said. What Lane gonna do with a three hundred dollar change? You know what I'm saying? It ain't really um Vlad fought. No. I didn't drive it back. Okay, well somebody drove. Oh. Oh, one of the homies drove the Cadillac. Okay, I got it. And then you guys went and got the Cadillac repainted, I guess? Yeah, you got it painted white, it turned it back in. Okay, and it was a rental? Yeah. And you said, you know, uh, you told... Uh... We were told that, hey, you know, South Cyber was responsible for, for the shooting. My bad, Joe. You got to um, work with the kid. Work with the kid. Here we go. All right. This is the what clip happens I was next? looking for. You know, based on what the book says, uh, Zip... Uh, gave you a Glock, gave you guys a Glock, and you guys tossed it in the back seat. And uh, Bubble Up was the driver, and uh, Baby Lane and Freaky were in the back seat. We were just all in the car. <laughs> so, real quick, the nigga Vlad, it's like, y'all be mad at Vlad, right? He's at, he, the, the, You see how concise them questions are and shit? This is from shit that's already out. This nigga wrote a tell-all book. About the Pac murder. So he's, go he's this is like quotes and shit he doing for this nigga. You feel me? Then you get in front of the camera, act like you don't want to fucking talk. But sat there for an hour and, and, and ran your gums. I I'm tripping. Like, yeah, okay. This was the white Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. Speak up, nigga. Okay. What? So you guys are driving around. And then you hear these girls say, Tupac, Tupac. No, uh, we coming up, uh, what's the name? What's that, Flamingo? Yeah, I think that's Flamingo. We was coming up Flamingo and uh, got to the light. We was supposed to go uh, drink and smoke some weed, and he happened to be hanging out the window. He was hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. So what happens next? And we just came, and shit. I ain't going to go into details like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know. But in your book, a nigga passed you a Glock to the back seat. Y'all was looking for Pac. Then y'all pulled up on him. You seen him flailing himself out the, the car like he was in some kind of parade. It did, and then what happened? Vlad says, oh, I don't uh, looking ass. What happened, nigga? You already damn telling on yourself you wrote a fucking book. Niggas don't even read books. You wrote one. Nigga, the fuck? Got it in a book. You you didn't play it and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, say yeah. it again. Well, in the book, yeah, fuck it. You then. said that as you're driving up towards the towards the BMW with Suge driving and Tupac in the passenger seat, and you said that Tupac pulled out a gun. It looked like he was reaching, yeah. Yeah, did. Cap. Okay. Yeah. Did you actually see a Big gun? Big cap. No, oh, shit. Once he got the region, I got the ducking. So someone from your car 
That's what happened. Started shooting at Tupac and Shook. Lane starts blasting. Um, you say Shook looks over, he sees you. Yeah. He looks right at you. Yeah, he looks at me. Okay. When he looks over at you, and then, you know, Tupac's busy getting shot. Evidently, the story is Tupac's trying to either get out of the back seat or something. Yeah, what do you see happening inside there? I see the bullet going shoot sure again. I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead. So Orlando shot him start across Dre? He leaned over on the window. We rolled down the window, pop. Golly. This guy was They was throwing on my side. I would pop them. You know what I'm saying? They, but they was on the other side. Right. I'm not going to go into details on that one. Keep the streets on me. I ain't going to go into detail on that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book. Well, so th let them buy the. Now look. This black nigga wrote a fucking book about Pac's murder. Please understand this idiot. You've got to be a fucking idiot. That's like OJ. If I did do it, this how this what I would have did. Face ass. You know what I'm saying? Now, okay, you don't want to answer questions. You came to sit down at Vlad, right? You don't want to answer the questions you wrote a fucking tell-all book. So let me tell you how cold Vlad is, and this is why it's not fucking Vlad's fault. I'm done blaming Vlad for shit. You know what I'm saying? It's y'all. Vlad has a copy of the fucking book. You know what I'm saying? Now he just reading passages from the book. You now now you can you ain't gotta say a motherfucking word, nigga. Now you could just go, just not nigga blink twice. Looking ass. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna read the, this passage. Vlad, uh, the nigga. shit was on. Tupac made an erratic move and began to reach down beneath it. Tupac made an erratic move. Uh, the shit was on. Tupac made an erratic move and began to reach down beneath his seat. It was the first and only time in my life that I could relate to the police command. Keep your hands where, where I could see them. Instead, Pac pulled out a strap, and that's when the fireworks start, started. One of my guys from the back seat grabbed the Glock and started busting back. The first shot skinned Shug in the head, and I thought that motherfucker was dead. I had heard some stories, supposedly that Tupac, that Shug used Tupac as a shield when the bulls started flying, but that's some oh, bullshit. Man. Shug was already wounded and he was the one that got touched. As the rounds continued flying, I ducked down so I wouldn't get hit. Basically, yeah. White Cadillac, arm came out the back seat and started letting off. What, what went through your head when you saw that? They shoot my nigga. So, the bullets started flying. Tupac, uh, Tupac and Shook's car get, get all shot up. Was there... And I, I'd heard different versions of the story, but the one version I heard was that the other that that their entourage started shooting back. Basically, yes. Okay. Does anyone from the death row side return fire? Yes. Okay. Can you say what that was? Yeah, he's no longer with us. Uh, his name was Buntry. Buntry, uh, one of Shug's right hand guy, our good friend, uh, Alton McDonald. He uh, chased the uh, car down. He also received one gunshot to his, his vehicle. Uh, his car was shot. Uh, he had a black Toyota Supra. And him and another guy. Yeah, we done with this, but this is what I'm going to say. Um, this shit right here let me know, like, yo, this um, snitching and telling and all that shit, that shit ain't just um, start with, like, our generation or, 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 or this um, younger generation. Nah, you niggas been telling on yourselves for years now. This is 20 some years old. This nigga been writing tell alls. I don't even know who that other um old nigga is, but he said, Yeah, I could it's just a, a Supra, a, a, a yellow Supra with the rims on it, and it had the license plate E734567. Bro, y'all just running your fucking mouths. Um shame on Keefy D again, shame on Keefy D and anybody who had to do it. Shame on Keefy D and anybody who had anything to do with Pac's murder. Straight up, shame on you. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he's getting what he's supposed to get right now. But, you know, this is just a lesson for um you idiots who just run your mouth. I always talk about all you hood niggas. You niggas are so hood. But you just just so willing to just talk about 
your business. You know what I mean? To whoever in front of cameras, and it's the clout. Again, clout, clout, clout. We want to be known for something and famous so bad that it's like we willing to even tell on ourselves for a little piece of light or a piece of fame as if you even being in connection with this shit wasn't big enough. The nigga introduced you as one of the most infamous niggas or some shit like that. You know what I mean? You had to write a tell-all, double back to Vlad for an interview, then then double back again. Like I said, it's another one up there. This is four months ago. I'm not clicking on that shit. Yeah, do the research yourself. But anyway, shame on bro. And uh, I guess they're going to have new developments uh, soon. And I'll keep y'all posted on what's going on. But this your boy Gangland Neiman, aka Neiman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Please hit that like. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace. Big dumb old ass nigga.